the, the fracture's just in here, and this part of the spine is actually it's elevated, and this part dropped down. So the spinal cord is basically getting squished between the two. I think if we don't do anything, the chances of her walking again are almost nil. Oh, Eleven-year-old golden retriever Jessie has been hit by a car outside her home. Good girl, good girl. Your mum and dad's with you. You'll be all right. Distraught owners Helen and Barry have brought her into Bondi's referral hospital, Sash. Oh, darling, it's a bit sore, isn't it? Hmm. So I suspect that he's basically got a broken back. Oh, yeah, I know that's sore. I mean, she's in a bad way. She's, she's paralysed. Uh, she, she can't move her back legs at all. Uh, thankfully, she can feel her feet, so she actually has sensation in them, and that's a good sign for, um, for her recovery. Next step, CT scan. So after that, we'll make a decision where we have to go and what we have to do. The, the fracture's just in here, and this part of the spine is actually it's elevated, and this part dropped down. So the spinal cord is basically getting squished between the two. So what we'll have to do is realign it, bring this side up a bit, that side down a bit. I think if we don't do anything, the chances of her walking again are almost nil. It's terrible when the kids are, they're all in pain too, you know, knowing that she's not well. And they said to us, um, um, Forget Christmas this year, just get her better. I mean, they're always hard operations, doesn't matter how many times you do them. You've got to get the pins just in the right spot. If you're too far one way, you end up skewering the spinal cord. If you're too far the other way, you don't get enough bone, and so it's not a secure repair. So um, I always sweat a bit when I'm doing these ones. Car accident victim Jessie has been taken straight to surgery to try and fuse her broken back. There are no guarantees the Golden Retriever will ever walk again. The pins are finally in place. Andrew now mixes up the bone cement, commonly used for human knee replacements and repairing spinal fractures. So this is what's actually going to stabilise the whole fracture. New CT scans will now show if Jessie's operation has been successful. I hate this bit, the waiting. I will know very soon. That one? That one's good. It's a little KY. That, one, ooh, that one's close, but that one's still, ooh, that's perfect. <laughs> that's, ooh. Just shave the, I've just shaved the outer edge of the spinal canal with one of those pins. So it's, some would say that's a perfect placement. I would say it's arsy. <laughs> this is a good result for Jess, yeah. Now her spinal cord is nice and stable, it's decompressed, so she's got the best chance of, that she's, we could have given her. Come on, sweetie, you gonna go? There you go. Good girl. I guess I so wanted to get her moving back. I don't know whether I'm seeing something or whether it's just, you know, her legs dragging on the ground. So I try and sort of distance myself for that, from that, but it's, it's difficult. The next day at Sash, Car accident victim Jessie is showing no signs of movement in her back legs. Come on. But this doesn't mean the operation has failed. The nerves in Jessie's spine need to reconnect, and that's a matter of waiting for nature to take its course. You know, you've had a certain expectation of how they should go, and knowing full well that it may not go that way, but it doesn't make you feel very good when they're not going how you want them. So, I, yeah. It's so different at home without her. It's so quiet. Get better soon. <laughs> Helen and her daughter Kate are refusing to give up hope. You just want them to be able to say yes or no, you know, like she's going to get up on her legs or she's not. So I know they can't, but I just wish someone could say that. Good girl. Hey. Get to go home. Several days after Jessie's major spinal surgery, Helen and Kate have arrived at Sash to take her home. Sadly, there's been no miraculous improvement. Maybe if we can get her home and she can smell her own place and she can 
you know, everything's familiar. Just hope something happens and something clicks and something just, you know, that's what we're praying for. Come on, sweetie. There we go. Just need to get those back legs working as well as the front. Yeah. Good girl. Here you go, good girl. Whoops. There you go. There you go. I'm glad to be going home. Yeah. Taking Jessie home is a huge commitment. Helen will have to learn how to keep her catheter clean to stop infections. Jessie will also need physiotherapy sessions three times a day. Stretching them out, flexing them up. It's not that she's a hopeless case, though I think to be realistic, as we stand now, I think she has more chance of not getting better than she does of getting better. And that's always disappointing. It's heartbreaking to, to see. I'm not going to leave you this time. No. We're going to work on it and see how we go. Thank you. Jess, come on. Come on. Oh, look at you go. <laughs> come on. Go, girl. Yeah. Hey, Jess. Wow, what a flash <laughs> pair of wheels you've got. Good girl. Jessie, who broke her back in a car accident, is independent again with the help of a custom-built car. She looked really proud of herself and I think she was just happy to be trotting down the corridor saying, look what I can do. Oh, she can do about oh, 15, 20 steps on her own. Oh, really? On her own, Oh, yeah. I'd like to see that. Wait. Just take it Wait. easy. Wait. Take it easy. Wait. Good girl. Wait. Good girl. Wait. You got your little right To ahead. get this result, Helen and her family have been giving Jessie up to five physiotherapy sessions a day. Oh, that's good, isn't it? If they had not put the effort in, she'd still be sitting and not be able to use the legs, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> isn't that good? I think she'll be improving in six months, maybe even 12 months' time. It, it'll take that long. We love her. She's part of the family, so there was never any other option for us. I'm so glad that we've taken the road we've taken. Good girl. It's great to see Jessie walking around like that. The other thing is that we've just had news about Rosie. Rosie, come on. Good girl, come on. Good girl. It's been six months since Rosie underwent major surgery to straighten her deformed legs. This is her first big outing. In the months sort of following the operation, she's been limited in what she could do. There have been times when I've... She's off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, that's fantastic, though. I haven't seen a run like that. Rosie! Oh, she's chasing birds. Okay, that's... She could not have done that. And being a golden retriever, I guess that's what she's meant to do. So she did that perfectly on cue for the program. That's perfect. I'm Dr Kate Adams, and welcome to Bondi Pet, a new destination for pet health and wellbeing. Our site is filled with everything to fulfil your pet's needs so that you can make healthy choices for your pets.